now we know little baby bear is not going to go walking down the steps in the middle of the night. So what we have is the model uh, 1255 uh, extra tall top of stair, uh, basically safety gate. So the reason that I selected this one over all the other ones is there was nothing on the bottom that you would trip over when you open up the gate. So you'll notice your screws on these so that I think what we should be doing we're going to take, we're going to couple these together at the right distance and then we'll be able to screw in the other side. You have the small piece has a little hole in it, and the larger piece has that, that hole. I've snapped, snapped this together already. That just holds there. So we're going to mount top and bottom. We're going to take the screws that they gave us. Just going to look and make sure that the bit covers the, the, uh, the center part of the screw, but doesn't cover over top of the threads and that should be the appropriately sized um, robot. Make sure that the hole is going up. Nice and tight. All right, so we're going to take this gate and see where we should line up the other one. And put this here. Want them nice and snug, but don't go too hard. Remember, it's plastic. Okay. Just two are up. Take the top and bottom down. So I'm just leaving these loose for right now. So to kind of get an idea of where we should go, looks about right. So you don't want uh, more than like two and a half inch gap here. So this looks about right. I'm gonna take and place these guys back on. Um, Give it a better shot of that. Basically, this uh, this piece clicks into here. They just slide together. So, to the bottom will be the reverse. Will be the the nameplate on the bottom, and then this plate on the top. So, here. That's good. It seems to to be fine. All right. So now we have to mount uh, this on the top, this on the bottom. It's about where it needs to go.
looks like it wants to be there. and loose. What I do notice is these probably need to be tightened up and adjusted because they're getting stuck. So I do need to take a wrench and tighten those up. Whenever you want to close the gate, this just moves over, moves into place. Very sturdy. And I want to point out to you, so you do have to tighten these nuts up. If these are moving around, it does bind. And they won't move up and down. So if that's your problem, it's probably because these, either top or bottom, are loose. So you're going to have to tighten that up with a wrench. If you ever want to get the whole gate off, you just pull this piece up. The whole gate comes right off. If these are not binding up, so that's the whole gate. And to put them back on, you slide them back in. And then push down. So it's a very sturdy gate. It was a bit of a hassle to fit the left and right side, top and bottom, uh, to get these just right. Um, but all in all, once it's installed, it's very sturdy. So now that we have the baby gate up, now we don't have to worry about our toddler crawling out of bed and thankfully not falling down the steps. So now we should get some more sleep. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or things you would like to see either installed or done or whatever, let me know. Have a great day.